Hey guys, I was getting asked how I like to stow this Bruce City transducer pole back here. I do use a rail mount and when I put it in this rail mount here, it stops in the perfect spot every time because the Bruce City mount does come with a stopping collar that's adjustable with a 3 16 inch wrench and you can move it up and down here to wherever you need it to be. I like it on this one here so that when I roll it all the way to the top of the rail, this isn't sticking through here hitting this glass. Now when it's time to actually go fishing and I get to the spot, I simply push this forward, roll it down, let that swing down, tighten this up. And if I need to use this pin to really lock it into place, that stopping collar right there is in the perfect spot. Secure that down and I'm fishing. It only takes a second when it's time to run. I loosen that up, swing it up, bring it up, tighten it up, and it's time to go. Now I'm ready to go. If you want a little extra support, I do add a ram claw mount right here. On here, this is not necessary. It's just a little added peace of mind when you're running larger water and you do not want to take the entire assembly off and lay it on the, on the floor of the boat. This keeps it ready to go, so it just stays put in any running conditions that you can imagine. So uh, this is how I set up my Bruce City pole. It's very easy to do, very easy to deploy. When I get to my spot, deploying this isn't a big burden on me, and I can get to be fishing right away. So I hope that helps you guys. Check out Bruce City poles, and I think you'll be very impressed. Talk to you later. See ya.